Oi, oi, it's the Cockney Buddha, and it's getting real. I'm here in sunny Florida, and it really is sunny right now, that's for sure. The old current bun is high up in the sky and beating down on us. But if we didn't have it, nothing would be growing. There would be no life, so I'm grateful. Hope everybody's having a great weekend and a good start to their weekend. I'm having an absolute banger one a day and this kind of subject came up in my head and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get on the old podcasting gear. At least put it out there and share it. Because I think a lot of us do it. And that's that, letting those things slip. The tools. The things that work. The things we even like, we let slip. Why do we do that? So grab yourself a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee. Or whatever drink you fancy. Settle down. Turn up the volume. And settle in on this. uh, Kind of how this came about was... um, you know what? I'm not quite sure actually how this how this one came about. I I think I noticed that yes, yes, I do know how this came about. Come on, Steve, you're ne- you're you're walking away from your insecurity, Steve. Oh, naughty, oi, oi, right? <laughs> I, uh, I I noticed that I was not reading a, a lot, and I love reading. And I, my book is like down by the side of the couch and I normally put a book kind of in front of me because I've got a lot of different books that I want to get through that are absolute bangers for knowledge. Bangers for knowledge, learning about people. There's some really good. I've got, I got some, some on uh, John Joseph that I want to read. Uh, go and follow that guy. And... I just thought, you know what? We really do allow ourselves to slip. You know that. Start thinking about all the time, all the things that you allow yourself to slip on. Right? How many times have you turned around and says, I haven't got I haven't got time. I haven't got time. I haven't got time now. Maybe there was a routine that you were doing of taking care of self, sitting on a mat, maybe meditating for 10 minutes on a daily basis, and then all of a sudden, you feel a little bit better all of a sudden, right? Start feeling a little bit better. Oh, yeah, it'll be okay if I miss it today, we say to ourselves, don't we, right? We say to ourselves, yeah, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. I feel, I feel all right, it'll be okay, right? Do that with our therapy, I feel... Yeah, I feel all right. Yeah, I could I could skip it. I could skip it this week or, you know, I could skip it this month or, you know, whatever the case may be. And then all of a sudden we're starting to like, oh, shit, hold up. And we let things slip. Why do we do that? Well, I, it's about pulling yourself back into centre. It's about start realising who you are and what your needs are. And what your requests are for yourself. And not letting those things slip. You know, I am not against medications. I believe they're there for a reason. I believe they're there for to help people through certain things. I believe there are people that, quite rightly so, you know, get, get help from uh, medications, there's absolutely no doubt about it. But I, you know, I think that I know, I know, I know with me, you know, what was it, what was it actually doing? Was it making me, was it making me kind of avoidant? Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, 
it, you know, when you get in, it, it's like, was I avoid, was, what was I avoiding? What was I, you know, I think I was looking for that something to get me somewhere where I can just carry on, get up, take the pill, bum, right? But you don't, but you never forget to take that. You never forget to take that. But we turn around and we say, I ain't got time for meditation. I've heard that so many times. How's the meditating? I ain't got time for that. But they're jumping from pill at the post all over the place. So, hey, give me a medication and, and then I can I can keep avoiding. I can, right? And I'm not saying everybody that take, listen, again, I don't want people coming at me going, oh, you're all right, I get it, I get it. And trust me, I have a story, I have a story. So before judgment, you know, ask questions. <laughs> um, but, you know, then, then it's like that keeps us, it keeps us going, or it keeps us moving in some kind of a direction that we believe that we're grabbing onto, but we're letting everything else slip around it because we're chasing something out of, out of maybe a fear, right? Fear of failure is a big one, right? You fear failure, you're going to be doing everything you possibly can not to fail. And in my eyes, you can't fail. If you're getting up and you're going at it again, there's a ton of shit ton of lessons there. You can learn your ass off from, from falling. You can learn a lot from falling. And that's where the growth is. That's where it's at. The learning, moving, navigating. And you don't get to those kind of areas in your mind by trying to fake your way through it. It means not giving up and avoiding those things that you're saying that you haven't got time for, like the meditating. Letting those things slip doesn't work. I I, I always notice, and trust me, I'm no angel to this, <laughs> right? I, I always notice when I'm a little bit like, mm, I feel a bit off or there's something going on or I sometimes I'll notice my... Um, my depression might be a little bit like off and I'm like, okay, what's, uh, what's going on there then? And, and I know one thing that helps with my depression and I'm, I'm only saying it for me. I'm not st trying to label it. Don't everybody go, oh, do it with me. Okay. <laughs> it might not have worked for you, but it did. It does for me. And that is, I do my Wim Hof breath work and it does, I notice it does help with my depression when I'm, you know, I don't feel so, I don't know, I just don't feel so, uh, that like bit of a sad feeling. I don't, you know, even even if it's, even if you're getting on, on with your day, sometimes you can have that, people won't understand, they get it, but you just have that kind of hum that's there. You're going through your day and you're okay, but there's you know, like a bit of, there's just that like, ooh, <laughs> it was just like this hum of like you know whatever it is but um yeah don't avoid don't avoid the things that work don't avoid your yoga don't avoid your breath work don't avoid those moments of stillness of just sitting with nothing no phone no tv nothing just sit in fact try that try that try just sitting with nothing that you'll be surprised how fidgety you'll get because your your body is so used to and your mind is so used to connecting in a way that it doesn't know anything else but to keep bloody moving and to sit is it drives them your mind is going to go no 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 this is not what we're meant to be doing here buddy we're not meant to be doing this. And your body's going, oh, you're right. So what about, oh, well, you've got to like, you know, come on, you've got to get up. You've got to, you've, got to, you've got to do something. And then you're standing in your room and you're like, what was I meant to be doing? And then you're looking, oh, dusting or you'll find something because all of a sudden your bloody mind is not, oh, now, now it's happy. Now you're doing something. Oh, I'm happy now. But you're stressing yourself out by your belief. By letting the... Don't let the things slip. And we do it with so many different things. We let things slip, right? You might be going, you know, you, you may be on a regime of a, of a, of, of a, you know, I don't know, going, going dry. 
right? Maybe you're giving up, you're working on giving up alcohol or something, right? And you and you're getting you're getting through the process. You're like, yeah, 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 right? And you're doing really, really good. And you're like, you know what? Yeah, maybe I just have the one. Yeah, one. I'll be one. Be one. I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. And then you and then you have one. And now you're now you're already you're already telling the mind. I've just broke. I've just broke myself down. I've just. Where's my worth? I didn't stick to it. That voice is going to start kicking off, and then you're going to start getting into guilt. And then guess what happens now? Now you're like, ah, oh, shit. And then you just freaking, oh, I'll have another one. And before you know it, you 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 know you're you're shitting yourself, and you're down on yourself, and you're sad on yourself because you know. All of a sudden, you're in the realization of, ah, shit. Because of that, that, that voice of letting it, well, letting it slip. Letting it slip. Being avoid, you know, in that case, you're just being, a, you're just being avoidant of the fact that, you know, probably not a good, probably not a good idea. <laughs> but we avoid that because, hey, that, that, that little. That little thing in your head that says, you know, I need this to be social or I need this because I've got something that's rattling around in my head that's causing me some grief and I know this will this will help me out. And but but and you in, instead of like moving into a positive mind of no no no, I've got this, I can handle it. Use your tools, the things that you the things again that we let slip the meditations, you may notice that, you know, you don't go so much that way when you're in a regime of meditation or on a regime of exercise and getting yourself out there in the open. And, you know, I know a good bunch of surfers as well. And probably those guys, as well, I know they do because I've heard it, right? Those guys as well, well, their head will start going. It's about being out there in the environment that, that helps you heal, and, and not letting it, you know, it, it, it's cutting out spaces of time for you doing what you want to do it, it and not feeling guilty about it. Our jobs and et cetera, or your jobs, mine don't. I work for myself. I'm a very, I'm a very, very, very blessed person. I've got to say, I love my work. You know, I have my certification in counselling and, and I love what I do. And I push messages out there on YouTube. But go and check my YouTube channel out. Give me a like and subscribe. It's actually growing. My subscriber list is starting to grow, which I'm extremely grateful for. I really am grateful for that because it 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 it, it makes me look at it and go, oh wow. This is starting to this is starting to reach. This is starting to get out there. This is starting to move. And then it gets to other people, and then other people get, you know, get a benefit out there, and then they can part, and it's building that community. So I'm, I'm absolutely blessed to love the, the damn job that I do. I'll tell you what, I really am blessed. But there's a lot of people out there that are not blessed, or they feel they're not blessed. I mean, you know, first of all, being in a job, you know, it's a blessing, right? But don't let those things. Don't let those things slip because what happens is, is you end up you end up burying yourself into the into the job because and then you're feeling less than or they're making you feel like you've got to give them a freaking you know your, your your last drop of blood and meanwhile you let you're not balancing yourself out you're not looking after yourself your mental health is going to start deteriorating you. Your, your partnerships, etc., relationships are going to start deteriorating because it's not getting the balance. But they are bleeding you dry of your currency, which is your time. And, and for what? You're letting everything else slip. You're not cutting out the space of time to be able to handle your own, your own body and mind and spirituality. It's time to look at yourselves. Don't let the thing slip. <laughs> Don't let the thing slip. Yeah? Yeah? Because I tell you, you start letting yourself slip, uh, uh, you know, 
people will just keep on people will just keep on taking advantage of that. They, 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 yeah, sure they will. Of course they will. Right? I mean, what do what do, what do you call a person that keeps making excuses? Avoidant. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Anyway, enough of that. Um, <laughs> right, avoidant. Keep making excuses. You know, you're making excuses for your job. You're making excuses for other people. You're making. You're avoiding. You're avoiding the things that help you heal, and it's not worth that. Don't slack off. I, I, you know, I picked up my, I picked up my book today. I want to get back into the reading, and now I, as I start reading, I'm like, ah, oh, I need the book. I need to tag this page, and I need to look at that. It's a Jay Shetty book that I'm reading. I mean, look, it takes me forever because again, I put the book down for I don't know how many weeks. So I haven't picked it up and read. So you know, I, I went out on my front porch, cup of tea, grabbed the book, thought, right. What am I? What am I looking for? What do I want here? I mean, I've got I've got reading missing. So let's get some reading going. And I thought, wow, I've got two pages in, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, hang on, I need to take I need to take some notes down and stuff because this is like you know banging material, <laughs> right? I wouldn't have got that. I was letting it slip. I was letting it slip. Now I feel good about it because I thought you know I picked up some knowledge there, right? And I want to know more. I'm like looking forward to going back into that book now. It's like, mm, when can I, when can I cut a bit of space for that? Let me let me figure that out. And I wanted to podcast as well, so it was like, all right, because this is important to me. This is getting the message out to you guys. And again, go and please, please, please go and subscribe and like get my name out there, please. It's growing. I need your help. I can't, you know. If I don't have, if I don't have people to help me out through this, then you know I, you, there's no there's no growth. People have to like the message. People have to like what I'm saying to be able to pass me around and get me out there. So thank you for doing that because it's happening. It's happening. The more you push, the more people you reach. The bigger the audience, the better. The better the community. So yeah, keep pushing me out there, guys. Please, don't let that slip. Yeah, <laughs> talking to slip in. <laughs> right don't let that slip please but yeah get stop avoiding cut yourself out of the space of time there's so many times when i've had like guys in front of me and i'm like oh, how's you meditating oh i can't i you know you know it's like come on you know this is about this is about shifting your life you come in front of you come in front of me by the way go and you, you can get a hold of me across all my platforms guys there's a link tree in my description somewhere i think if you look in the description area or down below it or something there's a link tree there you can reach me across any of my platforms i do this for a living where i help people out and i guide people and, and point people in the right directions and and i it, there's nothing more beautiful than helping someone see a way especially when you think there isn't a way so it's an absolute blessing to be able to do what I do, and, and I, I I thoroughly enjoy my work. I thoroughly enjoy my work. So I am a you know I got my certification in counselling. I lo I love what I do. So go please go and go and get a hold of me across all my all my platforms if you would, if you want to get a hold of me you can. Um, but I love what I do. And come out and see me on. Uh, Come out and see me on uh, what bloody day are we on? <laughs> Come on, Steve. Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> Gee, are you having a laugh? <laughs> oh, I blame the I blame the tea. So please, guys, like I say, come and give me some support, yeah, if you will. And don't let yourselves down. Remember, don't let things slip. Cut that time out for yourself. It's all about you. You're the only one that's going to do it. Someone ain't going to do it for you. The only, the only person you're letting down by slipping is you. 
I'm having an absolute banging Saturday. I'm really enjoying it. Spending time with the fam. Thinking about what the next adventure's gonna be because I've got so many different ideas going on. I really want to take the podcasting and vlogging and that to a, you know, more of a bit at another level. Go and check out the chat that I had with Beckett Johnson. I'll put the ease, uh, I'll put it in the description so you can go straight to it and have a look at that. We get together every Friday at 12 noon Eastern Time US. So go and check out the uh, the link that I'll throw up in the description. I hope everybody else enjoys the rest of their weekend. A big oi oi to everybody. I love an each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the, su- fu- su- the, the support. And uh, stay that course, guys. Namaste.